Mariners lose two to one. They fall to 35 and 28 on the season. And they even the series or the series is even rather with the Oakland Athletics at a game apiece. Not a lot of scoring plays and we'll go over all of them. Zach Geloff homers to center to make it one to nothing. Uh, Daz Cameron scores on a passed ball in the fifth to make it two to nothing. That homer was in the third. If I didn't say so, I don't think I did. And then in the ninth, the Mariners do get on the board. Finally, Julio Rodriguez hits a solo homer off of Mason Miller two to one. Uh, I'm going to start with a disappointment. You guys saw me tweeted or quoted or tooted. You didn't see me too. Um, that I was going to Dairy Queen to get a peanut buster parfait. I've been cra craving a peanut buster parfait for so long. And they're closed. So I ended up getting this instead. It's an Oreo frappe from a place that we don't aren't sponsored by. It's pretty good. It has coffee in it, so I'm going to be up for a while, but... I don't drink coffee, by the way. I just never acquired the taste. So that was disappointing, but this is pretty good. You'll see me drink it a few more times in this video. Um, Logan Gilbert was fine. I don't know if he was seven innings of one run baseball good today, but he was fine. Um, efficient, didn't walk anybody, does give up the homer, and there was some hard contact. There was some hard contact throughout, but... I thought he pitched certainly well enough to win and saved your bullpen. So that was nice. Uh, he does make the air. We'll talk about the air in the negative section. Uh, the only other positive is Julio. Uh, Julio walks and hits the home run. Uh, that was a really impressive home run. If you're going to lose two to one and only score one run, you might as well make it a homer at the top of the zone on a 102 mile per hour pitch. There's a handful of hitters that can do that. We saw one of them last year was Byron Buxton when he absolutely shellacked that homer off of Andres Munoz. It, it was impressive. It was impressive. I want to see more of it. I want to see more of that driving the baseball. And he did have a couple of flyouts over this last few that he just got underneath a little bit. Um, that was impressive. Now about the rest of this offense. But first, Simply Seattle, thank you so much for providing the very best in Seattle sports gear. It's awesome stuff for the Mariners, Seahawks, Kraken, Storm, Supersonic Sounders, and a whole lot more. You can find them at www.simplyseattle.com. Once you find your good stuff, use code MOLLYWAP15, M-O-L-L-Y-W-H-O-P-1-5. It takes 15% off your order. I just got a great King Griffey Jr. hat that is one of my favorites. Why I'm not wearing it right now is because I was silly and left it in the uh, other room. Tempted to deposit and go get it, but, you know, I've got this delicious drink to work on. SimplySeattle.com, link in the description. Thank you guys so much. You truly are the very best people. Ah, uh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> this offense was pathetic tonight. And for those of you who missed it, 18 perfect, 18 outs before you get your first hit jp crawford with a double off the wall as bad of an offensive performance over the first six innings as i've seen from this team and that's saying a whole heck of a lot absolutely wretched and look is joey estes as bad as his era suggested coming into the game no is he good absolutely not and i'm tired of the mariners making mediocre starters look good and this is now a large sample of it. It's awesome to be in first place. It's awesome that the rest of the division is a crap show. That doesn't mean that this offense is good or anything close to it. Josh Rojas was awful today after having such a good game yesterday. Ty France was terrible on offense and in the field. Now, he makes an error. It ends up not hurting him because it was a air on a foul ball. Only thing it really hurt was Logan Gilbert's pitch count. But on that play over to first base, there were a couple mistakes. Number one, Logan Gilbert's throw. I, don't get me wrong. It was terrible. It was a very bad throw. It was well over Ty France's head. But Ty France tries to do the old okie doke and pretend he's making a tag. Unless he thought that the first baseman was Dikemi Matumbo, 
He's not falling for that. And then you just watch this dude try to run after a baseball. I don't mean to pick on you, dude, because I know I would still be going after that baseball. A lot of us would. But the lack of athleticism is just so readily apparent so much with this guy. Ugh. And it ends up being a huge play because you lose by a run. And I'm going to say this too, you know, a guy that doesn't get a whole lot of criticism is Big Dumper. You have to block that baseball. I rarely criticize Cal Rally on defense because there's very rarely reason to do so. That was reason to do so. That ball has to be stopped. Has to. Cost them a run. Pretty big when you can only score one and you only give up one earned. I'm going to drink my drink. It's pretty good. Oh, let's make sure we don't show that logo. You can't see it. You're good. I think McDonald's is going to be okay, even without my free advertising. Mitch Garver. Pinch hits for Luke Rayleigh with the bases loaded. I didn't have an issue with Mitch Garver coming into the game. Um, or a pinch hitting in that situation. And, you know, I don't really have an issue with Mitch Garver being the guy. I saw some people suggesting maybe you have Ryan Bliss come to the play, so on and so forth. But it's another pathetic result. And I was, as I was watching him ground out and, you know, a faster guy maybe makes it a closer play, but it certainly wasn't hit hard. Do you, how much, do you know how many players have a lower expected batting average among qualified players than Mitch Garver? Can you guess? Did you say three? Well, that's one too high. He has the second worst expected batting average of any player in baseball. The second worst. The two guys ahead of him are Joey Gal in ahead. The two guys worse than him are Joey Gallo and Dalton Varsho. Congratulations, Mitch. You're in rarefied air. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. This has been a guy who has had so much success in his career, who has been an absolute, I hate to say it, embarrassment at the plate over the first 40% of the season. I don't get it. I don't get it. All I know is that it's reasonable to expect him to be better because heaven forbid he's any worse. Heaven forbid he's any worse. And number two, there is a track record of him being a good offensive player. But this is a large sample now of being absolutely atrocious. not good enough it's just not good enough mitch hanniger and dom canzone both gets hit go, both get hits in the eighth inning off of relievers but i will call him sean estes former mariner legend sean estes when the starter was in the game they were both absolutely pathetic dylan moore I know we a lot of you really like Dylan Moore for a lot of reasons. He's scrappy. You know, he's had success. He's come up with some big hits. He stinks right now. Like, stinks. Like, not he's going through a rough patch. He's been atrocious. He cannot be your starting second baseman. Can't. Nope. Absolutely not. I love Dylan Moore coming off the bench hitting against lefties, being an option for late-inning base running. Nope, not a starting second baseman on a playoff team. Dominic Canzone is not a starting right fielder on a playoff baseball team. Mitch Hanniger is not a starting DH on a playoff baseball team. Mitch Garver, at this point, can't be a starting DH on a playoff baseball team. Oh, and welcome to Seattle, Victor Robles. So in the ninth inning, Julio hits that homer, an extremely impressive thing. It's what I'm kind of hanging my hat on. I'm hanging my hat on that and this delicious drink. 
there's some ASMR for you. What the heck was I even talking about? Oh, yeah. Julio, very impressive homer. And then Cal Raleigh draws the walk against a guy who has been as successful as any reliever in baseball. But Ty France has an absolutely... I've used the word pathetic too much today, but awful, awful at bat. And Victor Robles, in his very first chance to hit as a Mariner, grounds into a double play. Welcome to Seattle, buddy. Uh, if you don't laugh, what can you do? They've been playing super well lately. The results have been fantastic, but there are just too many of these games for me to believe this is truly a World Series contender. And that's the goal. That's the goal. Didn't play anywhere close to it tonight. Like, not even a smidgen good enough, offensively anyway, to think that you could be competing with Baltimore and New York. Nope. And that's the goal. Brian Wu against J.P. Sears tomorrow. Sears has had some good starts against Seattle. I'll be curious to see how this one goes. Wu has dominated Oakland, and I imagine he'll have another really good start. Didn't love it. Didn't love it. Was prepared to absolutely eviscerate this team over the first six innings. At least they showed some fight over the last three. But it's just not good enough. These type of results are not good enough. This frappe is not good compared to a peanut buster parfait. Please hit like. Please hit subscribe. Uh, please join. I would love to have more Maya Y enthusiasts. Four ninety nine a month. I'll have a video tomorrow updating the top fifteen prospects in the system, and also talk about some stuff that I've heard about the MLB draft. Four ninety nine a month. Like I said, it's how I can afford more of those things. And I promise that if you join, I won't drink them on camera anymore. It's just not good enough, man.